What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Miss Maggie T. with Atlanta Falcons Nation. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button so you won't miss another post from me. Well, let's go ahead and get into these updates. I'm talking about Kevin Ridley today. As you guys are now aware, he is actually taking some time away from football to kind of get his personal matters in check there. He made a statement. These past few weeks have been very challenging, and as much as I like to be on the field competing with my teammates, I need to step away from football at this time and focus on my mental well-being. Now, he also stated, this will help me be the best version of myself now and in the future. And as Arthur Smith did learn of his absence Sunday morning, he said they met today, actually. And he said, Calvin's dealing with something personal and it's going to remain personal on my end. Um, and he said that Calvin's statement speaks for him. And so when we got here today, we talked and put him in inactive. So... You know, you know, we got to respect the privacy of that. And even on the 21st, Ridley made a statement about that. And he said, I mean, in today's world, me personally, it shouldn't matter. You should mind your business, you know, and that's bold. It's like respect, respect me, please. You know, and, and dealing with my own, you know, trauma and things like that that I deal with, that I go through mental issues myself. Um, I can definitely understand, you know, it's just, you don't want to be bothered by a whole bunch of big deals. He just want to deal with it personally and privately, you know, with his wife and I hope he gets better. Now I know she also put a uh, Twitter post about just, you know, they was going to leave it up to God. So it just seems like there's a bit more going on down, you know, down there that they need to, you know, work on some things. So, um, you know, and mental health, like, you know, look at Hayden Hurts. Richard Sherman just recently, you know, he'd been having some issues with his own mental health. It happens. So, you know, let's just, as a Falcon fan, I've been kind of seeing the mixed chatter about what's going on. And I just say, let's just give him your best wishes. That's all you can do. Other than trying to accuse him of, you know, trying to sit out because he has pressure um, from being number one, etc. You never know what the issue could be. It could be a number of those things. Now, um, the Falcons did throw for 146 yards in Ridley's absence with Tajay Sharp leading Atlanta's receivers with five catches for 58 yards. Um, he, and then, of course, Ryan also targeted Mike Davis, Kyle Pitts, and Cordero Patterson. But it does look like, you know, of course, we lost that game to the Carolina Panthers it wasn't enough and we just we still miss Ridley as a parent of that so that being said um that's all I really got for you guys today of course we don't know the length of time that Kevin Ridley will be out but everybody gotta step up and do their thing you know and I think this was just taking us aback um learning so abruptly I think they wasn't adjusted to that we was definitely expecting Kevin Ridley to play so maybe now that they know it's happening and like I said, every, all the players just need to stick together and hug their brother, you know, and just wish him the best. All right. So until the next time, Miss Maggie T with Atlanta Falcons Nation. And we are the nation. And I'm out. Peace.